Well, today is December 23rd, so a couple days before Christmas, and we got some work going on out here at a property again. You can tell it's pretty cold out by the way I'm dressed. Go ahead, turn the camera around. See, we got Finney trucking out here again. Loading up some of our sand out of what will be our future pond and trucking that over to our house. So, I'll go show you guys kind of what is going on here. Been really waiting for this cold weather to finally arrive. We've had, you know, it'd freeze and then we'd have 40, 50 degree days. It'd freeze again. But I think today is the con first consistent day that we've had a good two to three day actual freeze. So, my dad and I came out here last weekend. We put a couple logs in here and built a 30 foot log bridge. And then uh, Finney Trucking came out here yesterday and put a little bit of dirt over the tops of those brought a little bit more dirt in here and ditched a ton. You can see they ditched all this water out of here, put a culvert here. But here he comes with the off-road truck. We'll see how he does. You can see how soft the ground is getting right here. Really, really soft and getting kind of rotten. But at least they've got a couple loads across so far today. This will be the fourth load today. Even ditched all the way back to that corner there to try to get some of this water to flow out of here and get things to harden up. As you can see right there on the other side, how spongy that is with his tires going over it. And right there's where we have those logs. You can actually see the logs moving up and down. And then right over there, there's another spot you can see that it's getting pretty soft at. And that's right where the water line is coming into the house over there. So right there where he's going through right now, I'm not sure how many more loads that they'll be able to get across here before the road is not able to be drove across any further probably have a little bit of a raw video at the end of this though i'll go over here film uh, the next truckload being loaded with the excavator let me hop down off the hill here now though all right so this morning i came down here drove over all of this with my truck to see if maybe there was another access road to be able to cross when that road starts getting bad and this actually looks pretty good all this clay area here again a lot of water over here on the right hand side though that you know that might start getting pretty soft and then maybe a little bit of an access up here to where the excavator is but yeah i'm gonna walk back up here and we'll uh, watch the next truckload being loaded. And then maybe I'll follow the truck back again and watch that being dumped over by the house. But again, Christmas uh, this year, it's gonna be about 40 degrees. The next couple weeks we're hovering right above freezing. So it'll probably be after New Year's before they're able to get out here and do any more work again. So, Hopefully we'll be able to get as many loads as we can out of this today. Maybe get some of that fill around the footings and the foundation so that those footings don't start heaving and that foundation cracking. Really hope that that does not happen. Another quick little update. You'll notice that off-road dump truck's now heading over that way. And the excavator's over there. So I'll show you what happened over here. Pretty much the roads broke down. Um, but good news is that we do have sand over there as well. So now they're trucking in off a new road and dumping sand over here. Getting close though, I can probably see over the top of this wall now into the garage, but at least this whole area on this side of the garage has now been having dirt pretty much all the way up to the top of it, which is good because this doesn't need the insulation on it. We had some really bad storms that came through and ripped a lot of the insulation off of our house. So, especially on the other side, the winds must have been coming from this direction. And also, inside of this garage, this all used to be insulated as well. Probably hard to see them, but you can see all the insulation is now tossed over here in this corner. So that will need to go ahead and be re-put back on these walls. You know, there's a piece there missing. 
and a lot over there on the other side of the house like I already said before they go ahead and backfill but as long as they're able to keep trucking in today they're gonna keep bringing in fill and dumping it around the outside of the foundation and later on the foam can be put back up maybe on one of those warm days we have next week and then the dirt brought back over to it there over here see the roadways look pretty good once again went ahead they dumped two loads of fill dirt there like I said but now that's all nice and leveled off that can go ahead and start firming back up again and then they had this roadway through here I think they got about two loads through this area before he started to really sink um, can't see where he sunk anymore it was right up in here though barely was able to work the off-road dump truck through here and get that last load in after that load though that was the end of it and uh pretty much brought the bulldozer back in here leveled things back off after things start to get nice and cold again after new year's looks like we're staying down real nice and low highs of 23 and lows around 20s I'll keep bringing my truck across this trying to drive the frost back into the ground on this driveway as well as the one over there didn't sink too much out in here again right where the pond's going to be going here and uh we'll see how much they actually took out of the pond area today not too much it looks like it looks like it's lasting a little bit more starting to get a little worried that we weren't going to have too much sand it's good though that we have that area over there that has sand in it too this ridge probably goes right through here you can see this high spot and continues over to that side as well but this was the area that they took out of here today most of this water is drained out where they took the sand out of uh, earlier probably about two weeks ago and this sand in this area was used to build that roadway over the top there probably gonna go ahead throw the drone up in the air though now and get a couple views of them hauling the dirt and loading the off-road dump truck over there and bringing it over here to our house and dumping it jumping into some of the drone video now you can see the off-road dump truck backing up here to the excavator see that brush pile down there on the bottom right corner I went back there a couple days ago and ended up burning up that brush pile because I think what they're going to be uh, doing is following the sand right this direction right underneath that pile and possibly out into the farm field a little bit because this is the best sand uh, better than the location where we're planning on digging the pond so we're probably going to use this for fill around the foundation as well as inside the back porch the garage and the front porch area I would prefer to use the sand out of the pond just to make the pond a little bit bigger if we don't end up having enough sand in that area um, but right now this was the only location that we were able to uh, get sand out of and still have a usable road to get anything trucked out on this day and see the snow kind of mixture that was coming down the drone was just kind of getting bombarded with a lot of this right now and I think they're probably able to get over 20 loads out of this area on the day that they were hauling I just don't want to dig too much sand out of this area because I still want this area to be usable for farming we rent this farm field out so after they're done kind of taking sand out of this hole probably end up using a little bit of that topsoil and filling this hole in so it just doesn't become an area where water is going to be sitting so probably one more day like I said that they're going to be taking dirt out of this area and then hopefully at that time uh, it's going to freeze up hard enough after New Year's that they're able to just keep on trucking you know if it gets the roadway gets broke down uh, one day can leave it till overnight come back the next day and hopefully get a couple more loads out of it and hopefully able to get more loads than just a couple out of it before it starts breaking down I'm going to get out there and try to keep driving on the roadways to keep the frost drove into the ground I think that's really important once we get that frost drove into the ground uh, then we should have a nice good usable roadway but hopefully we just keep some cold temperatures and that we don't have any uh, high temperatures that warm up the area again because then those roadways just really fall apart 
can see though that this uh, off-road dump truck does have a completely full load and wasn't really sinking in the farm field at all. I think he said the uh, back of that off-road dump truck will haul 18 yards, so a little bit more than a typical uh, load of uh, sand from a regular semi. We'll cross back over this way and take a look at the house again. You can see how much insulation is missing from that back right side. That's all back up. I will actually post a little follow-up video here at the end of this video, and you can see how much progress was made on the day that I was out there, as well as they went back out here and put insulation on this side of the house, uh, and then Finney Trucking was able to come back out there with the bulldozer, had a little bit of sand stockpiled, and was able to shove that back up around it so that we don't end up losing our insulation again. Uh, they did everywhere except for inside of the garage. Um, we'll need a lot of sand hauled in there to be able to fill up the inside of that garage. You can see the roadway over there on the left-hand side, though. The uh, timber bridge that Dad and I built seemed to be holding up really well. Uh, that's the only spot in the roadway that didn't break down. Then they have a new roadway right here on the bottom left-hand corner. And then right here in the center of the screen is where they were hauling the sand out of. Uh, this will be the location of the pond. This was filled up with probably one to two feet of water already. You can see the ditch that they made down here on the bottom uh, of the screen to be able to drain out a lot of that. Excavators over here waiting on the side for the dump truck to go ahead back up again and give them another load though. Make sure you stay tuned to the end though because I have a ton of raw footage of some of the dirt moving that I filmed on the day that I was out there. Zipping back over to the house now though, you can see right where that water line is coming in through the very corner here sticking up. Uh, we were able to get quite a bit of dirt actually shoved up along the edges of the house though. Went and got some weed barrier that we put over the top of the pea stone and sock tile on the outside of the house and then filled it back in with the sand on top. It's now a couple days later since the last time we were out here and quite a bit of progress. You can actually see how much dirt has been shoved up over here on this side. Finney Trucking just came back this morning and shoved this dirt up along this side because all this insulation, if you remember, had been blown off from the previous storm we had. So our builder came out, had his guys put that insulation back up, and then this dirt is shoved against it so it doesn't blow off again. But from a couple days ago, you can kind of see how much fill was brought in over here. And all this fill is coming from right over there where the excavator is. I just got done burning a little brush pile that I had sitting over there. So it's being trucked over this way and dumped over all around the house and then shoved up next to the foundation with the bulldozer. Got quite a bit of uh, warm weather that moved in after we were here last. Uh, heated back up, all the snow ended up melting and the thaw ended up coming out of the ground as well. Drove across the bridge this morning trying to drive the frost in a little bit more, but it's still pretty soft and these next couple of days we are supposed to get around the 40 degree weather again, 35, so not freezing. But around New Year's, we're supposed to get a lot of cold weather. And right after New Year's as well, it's supposed to stay cold, which is great news. That's what we need. We need it to just stay cold so that uh, we can drive that frost in the ground and it freezes so that the guys can go ahead and drive on it with the off-road dump truck but pretty much walked almost all the way around the house now and you can see the fill is pretty much about halfway up. So maybe another six feet to go before we are, we gotta stay one foot below the top of that wall. But it's getting close. Hopefully, like I said, after New Year's, when we go ahead and get that freezing weather again, we'll be able to get the guys back out here, get the ground froze, and start trucking the rest of the dirt we need. And uh, yeah, this sand over here was a little bit better to put around the foundation. We still need enough sand to go inside the back patio, inside the garage, and inside the front porch. So all that gets filled right full of sand. And then after that, we can start hauling sand over to our driveway. That's gonna be just over this direction, just on the other side of the house here. Need a lot of sand in there and then clay will be placed on top of this to kind of grade out the yard. Pond's right over there on the other side of that dirt. That's more so where I would prefer the sand to come out of, but you know, we're taking what we can get at this point, getting fill in here so that the foundation uh, doesn't heave and uh, 
break our walls and that's where we're able to get it out of right now so that's where it's coming from but soon after when we get that cold weather probably in about another week this is where the fill will be coming out of out of our pond as well as all the clay out of there and being dumped all the way around the house so stay tuned for that if you haven't yet make sure you go down below hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you're not and leave any questions and comments you have down below and until the next one i'll see you then like the logs are starting to maybe pop out hopefully that one stays down in there
road's getting a little soft now, so I think he's taking this load of sand and going to dump it here. Fill in a little bit of those ruts. Maybe get a couple more loads across today.
Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below.